Northern European Ancestry. Northern European Ancestry tells the story of adaptation to scarcity, of light, warmth, and time. Across Scandinavia, the Baltics, and the British Isles, evolution favored pale, low melanin skin that could draw power from even faint winter sunlight. This trait turned fragile light into life, producing vitamin D to strengthen bones and immunity where the sun barely rose. At the same time, herding cultures shaped a second advantage, lactase persistence. The ability to digest milk into adulthood became common, offering hydration, calories, and calcium, long before refrigeration or green fields. Milk was the original superfood smoothie, minus the blender, and was key for Northern European ancestors to survive. Generations living on butter, fish, and meat developed efficient fat metabolism and brown fat thermogenesis, mechanisms that conserve heat and burn calories for warmth. Blonde hair and blue eyes, while visually distinct, are simply echoes of this light-adapted chemistry. But modern life twists the design. Fair skin burns easily under strong sun, and long winters indoors still cause vitamin D dips, despite those ancient advantages. Evolution built a solar panel, but now it lives under fluorescent lighting. Northern ancestry is a lesson in refinement. To endure is not to resist the dark, but to learn how to live within it. South Asian ancestry. South Asian ancestry reflects thousands of years of adaptation to intense climates and diverse diets. In regions stretching from Punjab to Bengal, bodies evolved to handle both scorching plains and monsoon humidity. The typical build, lean with slender limbs, helps release body heat efficiently, reducing the risk of overheating in tropical environments, basically the original built-in cooling system before air conditioning or fans were invented. Genetically, many South Asians carry high numbers of AMY1 gene copies, which boost the body's ability to digest starch from grains like rice and wheat. This trait supported survival in agricultural societies that depended on carbohydrates from many different crops. Their bodies looked at a plate of biryani and say, challenge accepted. Some groups also developed partial lactose tolerance, reflecting a history of herding and dairy use in certain castes and regions. These advantages created remarkable dietary flexibility and heat resilience. But in today's calorie-rich settings, the same energy-conserving physiology can become a liability, increasing the risk of diabetes and heart disease even at lower body weights. Evolution shaped efficiency, but efficiency in a world of excess can have its costs. East Asian Ancestry East Asian ancestry has a remarkable package of surface level and metabolic traits, fine-tuned for life in humid, variable climates from China, Japan, and Korea. One genetic variant stands out, the EDARV370A variant. Found in over 90% of East Asians, it produces thick, straight hair and a higher density of sweat glands, a combination that shields against sun and rain while keeping the body cool. It's basically waterproof and self-cooling long before Gore-Tex came onto the scene. Other genetic adaptations further shape how fats and sugars are processed. These reflect a history built on rice, vegetables, and low meat diets. Energy efficient and stable. Thicker hair, shovel-shaped incisors, and even subtle differences in melanin are all part of a climate-ready toolkit. But every design has flaws. Mutations like the ALDH2 star 2 variant help discourage heavy drinking by triggering the infamous Asian flush. It's nature's way of saying, only one drink tonight. But this mutation also raises certain cancer risks. In modern environments, those same metabolic and pigment genes can clash with new conditions. High sugar diets, indoor living, and limited sunlight. What once maintained balance in rice fields and open air now struggles to adapt to cities and screens. Evolution gave harmony, but modern life keeps testing its rhythm. Southeast Asian Ancestry Southeast Asian Ancestry carries a precise adaptation to one of Earth's most demanding habitats, the hot, humid forests of the tropics. Populations from Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Malaysia evolved compact, lean physiques that shed heat quickly. Shorter stature and slender builds increase surface area relative to body mass, a natural design for staying cool when the air feels like hot soup. Think small frame, big ventilation. Genetically, these groups excel at sweating and at holding on to crucial salts and electrolytes, even in extreme humidity. Many share the AMY1 starch processing advantage, fine-tuned by centuries of rice and root crops, and metabolic systems suited to low-fat, high-carb diets. Dark to deep brown skin tones reflect a powerful sun defense strategy, enough melanin to block UV without trapping excess heat. But these same traits come with trade-offs. Limited vitamin D synthesis, sensitivity to cold, and faster weight gain on westernized diets, the body that once crushed tropical farming now panics with fast food. Evolution favored survival in the jungle, a reminder that efficiency 
depends entirely on the environment. Sub-Saharan African Ancestry Sub-Saharan African Ancestry embodies two evolutionary triumphs, strength and immunity. Across millennia of exposure to tropical heat, parasites, and relentless sunlight, these populations developed bloodlines tuned for endurance and defense. Genetic adaptations like the sickle cell trait and G6PD deficiency reduce the impact of malaria, transforming what was once a deadly threat into a manageable trade-off. Their immune systems looked at malaria and said, not today. Another defining legacy lies in muscle biology. Many sub-Saharan lineages carry the ancestral ACTN3R allele, which fuels fast-twitch muscle fibers, the same type that powers explosive motion. From West African sprinters to East African endurance runners, these traits continue to shape global athletic performance. Combined with lean builds, efficient sweating, and dark melanin-rich skin that protects vital nutrients, this ancestry reflects precision engineering for life in extreme environments. But every advantage balances with cost. Two sickle cell gene mutations cause disease instead of protection. And the same immune systems that fought parasites for millennia may overreact in new urban settings, increasing inflammation risks. Still, the resilience of sub-Saharan ancestry is unmatched, a heritage of strength written into blood and muscle. Middle Eastern and North African Ancestry Middle Eastern and North African ancestry tells a story of persistence in one of Earth's harshest environments, the desert. Populations from Arabia to Morocco evolve systems that conserve water, resist heat, and draw nourishment where little exists. The kidneys of desert dwellers became masters of precision, conserving every drop, while sweat responses balanced cooling with minimal fluid loss. Perhaps the most famous trait is lactase persistence, the ability to digest milk into adulthood. For herders of goats and camels, milk wasn't just food, it was hydration disguised as nutrition. Milk really was the MVP back in the day. This adaptation still defines the region, from Bedouin encampments to modern kitchens where dairy remains central. Genetic variants promoting salt retention, moderate to dark melanin, and lean builds further supported survival under relentless sun and scarce water. But modern life has flipped the equation. What once saved lives in drought now fuels hypertension and kidney strain under salty, calorie-rich diets. Still, these bodies remain built for resilience, heat-tolerant, energy-efficient, and unshaken by extremes. Their biology is desert-tested, capable of thriving when the world burns and conserving when the environment forgets to give. While some ancestors learned to survive 118 degrees Fahrenheit summers, modern descendants complain about room temperature. Central Asian Ancestry Central Asian Ancestry traces back to the nomads of the steppe. The Mongols, Kazakhs, Kyrgyz, and others who lived where grass meets sky, their environment demanded stamina, endurance, and resilience. Generations on horseback shaped broad chests, strong legs, and powerful lungs capable of thriving across endless plains. Cold winters, thin air, and constant motion carved bodies made for survival, not comfort. People from this region were the original crossfitters, except their gym was just the vast landscape. Genetically, these populations show adaptations for both high altitude and high protein. Many carry unique genetic mutations that enhance oxygen use and support heavy meat and dairy diets. Kumis, butter, and mutton were daily fuel, not indulgence. Centuries of contact with livestock and travelers forged a rugged immune system that could handle nearly anything. But modern life brings its challenges. Immune systems once trained by horses and hardship now face processed food and office chairs. It's hard to conquer empires when the enemy is your cholesterol. The step body remains a symbol of endurance, proof that strength evolves where the horizon never ends. East African Highlander Ancestry In the East African Highlands, human physiology achieved something extraordinary. Populations like the Amhara, Oromo, and Kalenjin thrive above 2,000 meters where oxygen is scarce and most people would gasp just climbing stairs. Yet their blood remains calm, hemoglobin levels stay near sea level norms, while oxygen uptake remains astonishingly high. Instead of making thicker blood, they became better at using what little air there is. Researchers still can't pinpoint the secret. Possibly greater capillary density, faster oxygen diffusion, or muscle mitochondria working in overdrive. In short, they have an off-the-shelf engine, but they perform at much higher levels. These traits fuel unmatched endurance. Kenyan and Ethiopian runners glide through marathons with lungs built by altitude and legs tuned for economy. Their genes don't just endure thin air, they mastered it. Yet even this design has limits. Constant low oxygen can strain pregnancy and kidney function, and their lower blood viscosity can make sudden oxygen drops harder to handle. In the thin air of the highlands, the body learns a quiet lesson. Endurance is not just muscle strength. 
it is efficiently using what little resource the environment gives you. Indigenous American Ancestry Indigenous American ancestry reflects one of humanity's greatest physical legacies, perseverance. Descended from ancient migrants who crossed from Siberia to the Americas, these populations adapted to every landscape imaginable, tundra, desert, jungle, and mountain. The result is a physiology built for motion and oxygen efficiency. Among the Tarahumara of northern Mexico, runners sustain oxygen uptake nearly 10% higher than neighboring groups, moving barefoot for hundreds of miles through canyons. Their bodies use oxygen like an artist uses color, sparingly, precisely, beautifully. Modern marathoners wear carbon plates. These runners wear determination and dust. Genetic studies show lean frames, powerful aerobic systems, and high blood oxygen retention, even at altitude. In the Andes, Quechua and Aymara Highlanders evolved further, maintaining strong hemoglobin levels in large lungs that turn thin air into usable power. But adaptation has a price. Metabolisms, once tuned for scarcity, now meet abundance, fueling obesity and diabetes in a sedentary lifestyle. Highlanders risk excess hemoglobin thickening the blood, while others face cold sensitivity or infection risk due to low fat reserves. Still, the legacy persists. To move long and breathe deep, that was survival's command. The ancestors ran continents. Their descendants still run history's longest race. Pacific Islander and Polynesian Ancestry Pacific Islander ancestry carries the legacy of endurance, strength, and survival at sea. Across Samoa, Tonga, Hawaii, and Aotearoa, centuries of voyaging and island living forged a physiology that stores and spends energy with remarkable precision. Genetic research highlights the CREBRF variant found in roughly 40% of Samoans, a thrifty gene that helps store fat and muscle efficiently during times of abundance. For ancient navigators crossing vast oceans, it meant security through famine and storm. It's basically evolution's version of packing extra snacks for a long road trip. These same genes shape the distinctive Pacific build. Broad frames, dense muscle, and powerful strength for a given body size. Traditional diets of fish, taro, coconut, and root crops further tuned metabolism to handle fats and carbohydrates with ease. In combination, these traits created bodies capable of paddling canoes across oceans, farming volcanic soil, and enduring isolation with calm precision. Modern gym goers call it functional fitness. Islanders just called it Tuesday. Today, those same efficiencies face modern pressures. In an environment of constant abundance, the thrifty metabolism once meant for scarcity now drives soaring rates of obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Yet the physical legacy remains extraordinary a lineage built for movement, endurance, and survival across the world's largest wilderness, the Pacific Ocean. Arctic and Inuit Ancestry Arctic ancestry represents one of humanity's most remarkable engineering feats, turning fat and frost into fuel for life. The Inuit and related peoples of Greenland, Alaska, and Siberia evolve specialized metabolisms that thrive where almost nothing grows. Their FADS1 and FADS2 gene variants rewire fat processing, converting omega-3 rich marine oils directly into energy and body heat. In other words, they burn blubber like a clean fuel source instead of storing it. Meanwhile, most modern diets see fish oil and call it a supplement. Additional genes, such as TBX15, enhance brown adipose tissue, the heat-generating fat that warms the body from within. Shorter limbs, compact builds, and efficient oxygen use reduce heat loss, and conserve energy. These traits together create a physiology capable of enduring minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit winters, a system that quite literally burns calories to survive. Specialization comes at a cost. When traditional diets shift to Western foods, the same fat processing genes struggle, leading to cardiovascular strain and nutrient imbalance. High mercury intake from marine food also poses risks, and vitamin D deficiency rises when old diets fade. Still, Arctic genetics tell a rare story. Survival, not by resisting the cold, but by mastering how to turn it into fire. That's evolution's version of central heating. All natural, highly efficient, and without the electricity bill. If you like this video and want to learn more about the human body, check out these other videos.